Hello everyone, it's Big Bang Experiment time again! Today, we are going to explore the Ice Age and the animals in this period of time. In this experiment, you will need the Big Bang material box. But if you don't have this box, you can use other boxes like a shoe box. First, let's use a pair of scissors to cut off the lid of the box. We will be using our blue craft paper for the background of the box. Once you have the craft paper and the tape, you are ready to go. I will now tape the blue craft paper to the back of the box, which will be the sky. This is how my sky looks. I'm now gonna work on my ground. I'll be using brown craft paper to make the ground of my habitat. Repeat the same process as before and make sure to cover the box with craft paper. Good job, chipsters! The background of my habitat is now complete. As it is an ice age habitat, make sure to add some snow and ice in your habitat as well. Oh, I want an icy mountain in the background. So I'll fold the white paper into two triangles, then cut it out. Finally, I'll stick it onto the back of the box. If you want to add other details such as clouds or snow, you can use paint. Make sure to use your paintbrush and the white paint to add these details over the blue background. I'm also going to use the yellow color to paint the sun. Now that your habitat is ready, let's add some animals. You can get these worksheets from your dinosaur workbook and also prepare a pair of scissors. Using the scissors, we'll cut out each of these characters from the worksheet. Make sure to cut along the dotted lines. Be very careful while using the scissors as they are very sharp. Once we have cut out all the characters, we can move on. Now we're gonna decide where to place these characters in the box. I would like three characters to be glued to the background and two characters to be attached to the bottom. For the characters in the background, you can cut off this little tab. We'll only need those for the animals we want standing up. Now we're gonna glue our background animals. Now let's work on the characters that we want standing up. All of these characters should have a tab attached to the bottom. Fold this section and then glue it. Now, stick the paper character to the cardboard box. The character will be able to stand up on its own. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial!